got to give credit where credit is due. We played against a great defense. You know, they came out to work. We came out to work. And you know what I'm saying? They say every dog has their day. And, you know, I'm just proud of my boys. We fought to the end. That's all I can ask for. They fought to the very end. Everybody fought to the very end. Nobody panicked on the sideline. Nobody pointed fingers. So, you know, I'm proud of my guys. I'm proud of my boys. How tough on y'all did they make things in the red zone? Like y'all were really struggling for every yard down in that area. I mean, we know what type of game it was. This is a historical game, Georgia versus Alabama. This is a game that you know, no matter how the regular season went, no matter how all that goes, like this is, you know, top of the line college football. So, you know, we just got to get back to the drawing board and, you know, fix what, fix what we need to. Kendall, what do you feel like was the difference maker tonight in the loss from you guys against Alabama? I mean, they just, they just came out with the win. I can't really, you know, think of anything specifically. They gave it their all, we gave it our all. You know, like I said, every dog has their day. They just, you know, ended up with a victory and credit to them. They came out to work, but, you know, we just got to go back to the drawing board and fix what we need to fix. Do you believe you guys should still be in the college football playoff after this loss? You know, like I said before, I have a uh, huge faith. So, you know, I believe God will do what's right, whether we're in it, whether we're not. You know, I feel like at the end of the day, there's always a bigger plan. So I'm just focusing on that, going to stay prayed up and hope for the best. What was How much Coach's message to you guys after this loss? He just let us know how proud of us he was. You know, like I said, we fought to the very end. We didn't, we didn't give up. We didn't give in. We didn't start pointing fingers. Everybody just st uh, stuck together. We, we really exemplify connection. One of our core team values really exemplified that on the sideline. And he just let us know how proud he is of us. And you know, at this point, we just got to keep fighting forward. And you know, keep playing more ball. How much did this game prove that these are two of the best teams in college football? You know, I, I, I think it proved it, but I think, you know, everybody kind of knew that, but, you know, before the game, just going into it. I remember my freshman year, uh, you know, going into a game like this is different. When you play Alabama, it's different. You know, they have a historical coaching staff. They have great players. They have, you know, all type of things that we also have on our team. You know what I mean? So it just it just came down to, you know, it just came down to really the, the, the triple zero on the clock, you know. But, you know, credit to them. But I just got to get back with my boys. Yeah. End of the day, so I know I know my dogs. Like, I could feel the hurt in the locker room. I could feel how seriously uh, it impacted not even just the seniors, but even the guys under me like that. So, you know, I know how seriously we took it. And I know at the end of the day, uh, my team's going to get back to work. Despite all the mistakes, obviously you guys ran into the end. What does it say about this team that you were able to continue to keep fighting regardless of the situation? Uh, resilience and composure. Those are two of our, um, two or four of our team traits. Uh, resilience and composure. We stuck together. Nobody flinched. Nobody started pointing fingers. Nobody started yelling at each other. You know, there could have been plenty of opportunities where we could have really started pointing the fingers and just divided as a team. But through the adversity, through the difficulties, like everybody stuck together. Everybody came closer. So to be honest, like things like that, that, that means the world to me because at the end of the day, that's a brotherhood. It's about like. Besides all the football stuff, besides the wins, the losses, the glory, like that brotherhood is like what means the world to me. So, you know, the fact that in times when I know that, you know, I might not be making the right decision and I know that I, I might need my brother to come and coach me up and tell me the right words. The same thing when I know my brother isn't there all the way and I need to coach him up and give him the right words. We just stuck together. We just grew closer together throughout that game. And I'm very, very blessed to be on a team like like the Georgia Bulldogs. Two questions. Yeah. Kendall, I saw you giving yeah. a talking to your linemen final minutes of the game. Can you share what you were telling those guys? Yeah. Is that we need another run, we need another shot if we get back in? What are we talking to them about? Keep your head up. You know, a game like this, you can't never count yourself out. You can't never tell yourself, oh, we out of it. Like, this thing could go down. It's, it could be 30 seconds left, and we still need to drive the field because you never know what can happen in football, you know. So I just kept telling them, like, keep y'all head up. Y'all boys, boys know what we need to do. Y'all know what – is needed to get done to really accomplish what we really want. We just got to get it done. And, you know, they, before I even told them, they knew what it was. You know, everybody, at, at the end of the day, I feel like it's common sense in football. Like, you know, whoever gets their job done the best, that's, that's what's going to, you know what I'm saying, come out on top. And our, our line, they knew that this was going to be a, a difficult battle, a hard battle, but they just kept pushing, kept fighting all the way to the fourth quarter, triple zero on the clock. And, you know, to be on a team like that and to be able to see brothers like that, like, a minute 30 and those boys still coming to where the running back said like hey y'all boys keep pounding keep running keep pounding like that means the world because that just shows how much belief they have in us they, how much faith they have that we can accomplish our job if they do their job so super blessed to be on this team super blessed to be a part of this brotherhood this family and i wouldn't trade it for anything last question kendall you guys had a awesome, long time like, a how do you process this and b what do you think was the difference in this game today i mean it hurts it definitely hurts like I'm a real, I'm an emotional person, and it, it, it was hard for me to kind of just fight that because, you know, I love this game. I love this team. I love this school. I love the coaches that brought me here. I love the support staff. I love every single part of this program. Like, 
them, they see me like, you know, the injuries and stuff, like they didn't see me at my very, very worst. Like I love every part of this program. So, you know, I'm just very blessed to be a part of this program and I wouldn't trade this. If I would have went back to signing day, I think 2019, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like he was with me on my commitment. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade none of that for anything. And at the end of the day, you know, they just, they just got the best of us. It's football, it's, it's any given Saturday two of the best teams in the world, like not even just the nation, like the world. So, you know, it's any given Sunday, they got they got the best of us today or tonight, and it's just time to get back to the drawing board and, you know, really get back to the work and get back to the level that we know we're capable of. That's all. Thanks, Kendall. All right, appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, man.